Hey y'all, my uh, your instructor Nick Haynes here. I'm going to walk you through to this week's work and uh, hopefully walk you through uh, ways that you can think about comparing sample and model annotated bibliographies with the hope that you will write some effective uh, annotations to share with the class later on. So um, first you might want to ask yourself, why? Why write an annotated bibliography? What is the purpose of this thing? Uh, there's a bunch of pointers on the prompt, but just to get you through um, a few, um, you know, the first thing you want to do is kind of prove to your readers that your sources are credible and that they have authority, right? So as you're doing your research, you want to think about how you can demonstrate that things, that the information that you're finding is quality and valuable. Also, you know, annotated bibliography shows that you have a deep understanding of a topic before you go and write a research article on it. Thirdly, you know, you want to distinguish between your views and what the research actually shows. So as you look through the research materials, you want to show that you've looked at a broad range of stuff and that you're not just coming at it with a biased point of view, that you have a range of ideas in your mind. And lastly, you know, an annotated bibliography is going to help you figure out what research you have already and what you might need to add to that to um, complete your research. So the annotated bibliography should be able to do those four things for you. Uh, now let's look at some samples and models in our Blackboard shell. Regarding the annotated bibliography assignment and Dropbox, and also show you how we might compare a model annotated bibliography that's kind of doing everything right to a sample annotated bibliography that has some issues with it. So let's take a look in here. Annotated bibliography assignment and Dropbox. Uh, you have all this. You all should probably have hard copies of this at home. Um, the relevant point here is I want us to look at the components of an annotated bibliography. We have an overview, uh, which explains the topic uh, and gives a summary of what you found out and what you need to find out. And then you're going to have a list of sources. Now, for this assignment, there will be at least five, but that's for the assignment that will be due in a couple weeks from now. For now, I want, to f I want you to focus on two of those sources. So at this point, by the end of this week, I hope that you have two sources and two summaries of those sources that you can share with the rest of the class on a discussion forum. So we're going to take a look at that, and I'll explain to you uh, how to know when you have an excellent uh, piece of writing and how you might be able to evaluate other people's here. So the first thing we might want to look at is this rubric. The relevant parts of the rubric we want to look at are here, source evaluation, source summary, response to sources, source synthesis, and MLA style. These are the most important parts um, that you'll be using. So you might read through each of these boxes carefully to know, uh, to get a better sense of when you're doing something well and what it looks like as the grade deteriorates. Uh, now I'd like to scroll down here and take a look at uh, what we have, which are two annotated bibliography sets. One, this set here is samples. So these are not what you want to do. They're actual student samples. So you can take a look at what's working and what's not. Down here is a model. And we'll look at each and see how it corresponds to the prompt so that you will know when you're doing things well and what you should try to prepare before you post. So, uh, Let's quickly look at a sample, okay? So here is a sample from Monique Davis. Um, this is a fictional student, right? But here she has uh, some sources here, right? This is a complete annotated bibliography, so she has several sources. But let's take a look at this one here. Uh, Orleans Herald, okay. The College Payoff Illusion, Change, Volume 1, 31, 99, 9. So the citation looks okay. I uh, don't see anything completely incorrect about it. Uh, but let's take a look at what the summary does. Okay, um, This article directs the reader to believe the maybe not all students should be attending college. In this article, Harold makes the point that universities should raise their academic standards, taking on less but better students. Okay, and this So this looks like a straight summary. So if we go back to our guidelines, we can see um, the writer has not really explained why it's relevant and reliable. 
but they have summarized the basic claim of the source, right? So they did b bullet two, but not really bullet one. Okay, let's go back and take a look at that again. Um, now, oh, uh, let's see. Now this goes into, initially this seemed to be a good article to use for my section over college is not right for everyone, but after careful review, his ideas seem very biased and narrow-minded to the point of discrimination. Okay, so now this writer's weighing in themselves, and that's good because that touches on the respond. This is a response to the source. What do you say, right? Um, and it also touches on plan. This writer's decided not that they probably can't use this in their research article. Um, but they don't synthesize. In other words, they don't explain why, why it works, fits with, or challenges other information that they have. They claim that, but they don't fill it in. So this entry is somewhat weak, but does a does a fair job on a couple of these points. Now let's take a look at a stronger one, okay? I'm gonna to go to the model here, and we'll take a look at this one, which is from Roxanne Gay's What Fullness Is, which you all have read. So this MLA citation is accurate and clear. Uh, it follows what is um, what MLA requires. And like, let's take a look at this. Explain why it's a relevant, reliable source, and summarize the basic claim, let's see. Gay puts forth her personal experience of undergoing weight loss surgery alongside history of such surgical practices and historical and contemporary views on weight, obesity, and weight loss practices. Um, it gives a summary of her argument, right? Um, and then it goes into the I say. I find it hard to disagree with anything Gay claims about her own experience, but I might argue this surgery should probably makes some people happier, okay? This says how the writer might use it as an example of a narrative that marries the personal and public. Um, and then it also, at the end, talks about how it relates to other pieces. It works well alongside Orwell's piece, Shooting an Elephant, right? It doesn't explain why, so that could be a little bit better, but it does touch on why it's relevant. It summarizes the claim. It responds to the source. It plans how they might use it in the article, and they synthesize it. In other words, in other words they bring it in with some other sources. So that's kind of the difference between a sample and a model and how you might think about making excellent entries for your annotated bibliography. Okay, so that's what we're looking at in Blackboard. Um, now, a couple of pointers before I let you go. Um, on our discussion forum this week, I'm going to ask you to add two annotations. So those things we looked at, I'd like you to find two annotations from two sources, right? So you're gonna create the bibliographic entry and you're gonna annotate just as I kind of described. Uh, now, there are a few things that uh, to keep in mind. Uh, first of all is, you know, you have your resources and, and me here to help you, so feel free to email me if you have any questions. Um, and also, use They Say, I Say. I put a link to download They Say, I Say just on the left column uh, on our Blackboard shell. Uh, so you can find that there. It's a PDF. You should be able to access it. Pages 58, 60, and 64 will provide templates for agreeing, disagreeing, and also summarizing others' ideas. So feel free to use that. And I look forward to looking at your work. And, and I hope you all can offer one another pretty solid feedback in our discussion forum uh, in this uh, strange environment we find ourselves in. I wish you all health and um, good fortune in doing this research and this work. So best of luck to you. Have a great one.